to start this fly with a size 8 dry fly hook and black thread. Or you can use a light thread. Folks, everything fly fishing where we tie flies to catch fish, not only fishermen. And very important that you do this. As soon as you're watch, done watching this video, click the link right below and go watch Tracy's live stream tonight at 420. Okay? Go do that. Thank you. It's your homework. Get it done. Need your support. Now we're going to put, we put our gear here in a stacker, lined up the tip. We're going to tie that in the length of the shank of the hook. And we tend to use the darker gear here, if you can. And use a lighter later on for softwares and stuff. But use a darker deer hair, put in a deer hair stacker. And if you want to see a video on how to use a deer hair stacker, just let me know in the comments below. Now, I, if you notice, I keep that the back towards the back of the hook, with the bend of the hook, I keep that pinched so that it don't flare out. And I'll go put a lot of wraps to keep that pinched down. When I cut off, you want to kind of keep your scissors level with the uh um the hook shank of the hook and then when you cut that'll make it tapered Okay, now we're tying the tail. Pull the sparkle bar the sparkle time. But anyway, we're tying the tail, same length of the shank of the hook, and it's going to look like a shuck. That's kind of what we tie this in for. Shuck dragging behind is attached. Now, you have a couple options at this point. You can do what old Joe Humphreys used to do and put cotton on it. Then you fill them with cotton, you fill them with thread, or you can just fill them with your dubbing. Whatever choice you do, but you want to type of the body now. Now, you want to use the same dubbing you would use on an ad. Gray is blue dubbing. And you want to add that. You want to add it right up to the wing. And then you want to dub it all the way up to the eye. So you want that dubbing to go, because you don't want that thread sticking out from underneath. You want the dubbing to go all the way up to the, when you turn it upside down, you should be able to see the dubbing all the way up to the eye of the hook. I tie these pair of duns a little different, or sparkle duns a little different. I do the, I don't tie the wing in and push it back and do all that until after I dub it up to the wing because it seems if you push it back, the wing gets in the way when you're tying the dubbing. So I run the dubbing up, then you want to push it back with thread wraps in front of it, push it back with your thumb so it fans out half a moon style when you look in the front of it, and then add thread wraps and then wrap the dubbing up to the eye of the hook. That's how you do all that. 
as you can see in the video. If you like that video and make sure you're here tonight to we went to be. Tracy's channel. Go to Tracy's channel. There'll be a link down below, right below this video, down there right now. If we do anything else, go down there and hit that link. So make sure you on her channel 420 for another live stream. Now I know the live people are gonna watch this video, so be there, man. Support her channel. We need she needs your support. So go check out the live stream tonight at 420. Thank you for watching our time video. Keep your lines wet and out of the tree and only give them fish, the stocked fish that is, the wild fish, the sword that we can kill the stocked fish, we don't care less. Have a good day, peace out.